What's up, everybody? Cornet update. Um, I'm not pleased with it at all. I can't get the lifters to pump up anymore. Um, it shows it's running really lean, but it smells rich. The brawler carburetors I hear can be kind of a pain in the butt. <clears throat> I've got an oil leak on the front of it I can't seem to get. The, uh, the lifters are beating the cam up, so I don't want to lose a cam if I haven't already lost one. So I think I'm going to pull the motor out because the heads really aren't that great. They, uh, they're a set of stage fives with a big old port and polish job from out of the 80s, um, but they are on their last leg. I thought I could get one more motor out of them. Um, They've been milled so much from blown head gaskets that they actually sit below the china rail on the on the block. So it's time for them to probably go. I got a set of closed chambered heads down there. We'll see if we can't find somebody to take the hardware out of these and put them in the closed chambered. Um, and see if those can get worked over a little bit. And try this again later on, but in the meantime, a year or two ago, I scored this guy. That one. That is a 78, I believe, motorhome or truck 440. Low compression. <clears throat> I got it out of a platform buggy. If anybody doesn't know what that is, that's those swamp buggies that's got the big deck up top. It was a uh, Chevy frame, all homemade, but uh, it was running great when they parked it. They just went on to other things and it sat. So he called me up, hey, you want it? Sure. So I got it. Um, in the next day or two, I'm gonna pull the heads off and make sure everything's good. It's probably sh should have a set of 452 heads. So I've got a machine shop down the street that will take care of those heads, freshen them up. Uh, we'll cut them down a little bit to bump up compression, and I've got a set of steel shim head gaskets to put in there. Along with, um, I actually have the an original 375 horse Mopar camshaft from back in the day, like the 68 GTX, 69 GTX, um, you know, 44 RT chargers, things like that, the cam they use there. So we'll slide that in there, and if we can get 325 horse out of it, I'll be happy and drivability and change the converter out. It's, uh, it's a 3600 FTI built for this car, but it's a little loose. So we'll go ahead and find some sort of 2400 Street Fighter somewhere, slide that in there. Um, the goal is to get that motor ready. Uh, nice orange, I got some nice new uh, mill finish or what do you wanna call them? Fabbed up valve covers for it, we'll use this this uh, Edelbrock Performer Plus intake. Um, and I don't know what I wanna use for a carburetor yet. If I can't get this brawler to tune out properly, we might just go straight up 750 Holly, I don't know. Um, mainly because we just wanna get in this thing and start driving it. I'm not worried about racing it anymore, I'm not, whatever. Um, I caught the engine compartment on fire right after the weekend of the hurricane and No Name Nationals. Um, yeah, the gas cap I purchased was vented, but it was vented one way, it would allow air in. So when the storm came through, the hurricane in, our temperatures dropped down to 64 degrees. So, you know, obviously that's gonna let a bunch of air in the tank because the air the condenses. So when it got back up to 80 degrees outside, the air had no place to go. So it just pushed all the gas up the fuel system and uh, blew past the needle and seat and filled the cylinders up, hydraulic the motor. So I pulled the plugs on one side and uh, forgot to pull the coil wire. So when I turned it over, I saw all the gas come flying out, but then one of the plug wires hit and poof, you know, here we go. So it's got a lot of fire extinguisher crap underneath it that has to be cleaned up. Um, the temperature gauge took a hit and the headlight wiring took a hit. I've already repaired the wiring on the headlight. I got to change the temperature gauge. I've got the new one. Um, and she needs to be cleaned. Um, the rear ends come around, nothing's tight, nothing's hanging up anymore. Yeah, and this, this thing's got an oil leak on the front I can't seem to solve and I'm not gonna coat the underneath of my car with it, so. 
I think it's best it comes out, but we'll leave it intact for the time being until this one's done. Hopefully this one's done in about three weeks because I know the head the heads will take a couple weeks at the shop. And in the meantime, I can get it all cleaned up, get the cam slid in, new timing chain, uh, order some other stuff. I got to order an oil pan and pickup tube. It's got, this has got a truck pan on it. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get her going. So that's my story, I'm sticking to it. And uh, tomorrow when I come home, I guess, I'll put the, can the covers back over the canopies. Leaves are starting to fall. But fall is here in Florida because, uh, you know, all the license place tags are changing colors already. So in the meantime, um, congratulations to everybody that made it to the No Name Nationals. Congratulations to all the champions at the No Name Nationals. I'm sorry I missed a really good time. Uh, we were going to bring the Challenger, the uh, Scat Pack Challenger. And um, unfortunately, we lost our house sitter uh, for the storm. Um, you know obvious reasons and uh so we had to stay home we didn't get any damage uh i believe i counted 16 palm prawns in our yard and we had the yard cleaned up and mowed and whatever the next morning uh, we did lose power for about 36 hours though other than that everything was good um so anyways back to work and uh so like, subscribe, share. I appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry I haven't put a video out in a while. It's just been real hectic with the storm. But then I hit the flu, and you know, yada yada yada. So uh, life happens. Anyways, hopefully everybody's had a good weekend. Hopefully everybody has a good week, and I will catch you in a few days when I tear this motor down. Thank you.